Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Hey everyone, ThunderBuddy01 here with a countdown video. You're wondering what this countdown is for. It's for the amount of life left in my slowly fading soul. Just kidding, it's my top 10 EAS captures for 2018. There have been some crazy alerts over the past year, and some are worthy enough to make this list. I won't overload you with details, so I'll make this countdown quick. But if you actually thought that this countdown was for how much life is left in my soul, you seriously have the IQ of a f***ing small rodent and a flea combined. PDS tornado warning. What's radio st Oh, alright. So, uh, Clay, please tell me you're still there.
Oh, you're not. So, uh, Recon. You mind explaining this? Statement of fact! Statement of fact! Statement! Apparently, Special Marine Wars are statements now! Okay! Yeah! Okay! What? What? What happened? My Recon R6050A didn't even recognize a Special Marine Warning as a statement of fact! A statement event. A statement event. Yeah, apparently, special marine warriors of this freaking thing are apparently statements! system in Connecticut because WTI, I believe the state EOC originated this test, issued a required monthly test, effective until 150 for the following counties, if it is, can you, excuse me, okay, uh, origin, I think that was a glitch. Let me see that again. Draw that up on the antenna. So, that was the stroll, and that was the test off of WICC 600 AM. Didn't they even leave the fucking room yet? Oh my! Until 4.30 p.m. At 3.59 p.m. 
Birmingham, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located over Eastford, or nine miles northeast of Mansfield, moving east at 30 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Little homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Woodstock around 4.10 p.m. Thompson and Potsford around 4.20 p.m. Killingly and Putnam around 4.30 p.m. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Easy Upton, but they want the regular thunderstorms to do water spouts! Virginia has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Northwestern Madison County in Northwestern Virginia, East Central Rockingham County in Western Virginia, South Central Page County in Northwestern Virginia, North Central Green County in Central Virginia, until 8.30 p.m. At 7.45 p.m., a severe thunderstorm was located near Shenandoah, Oregon, 15 miles west of Madison, moving east at 20 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, damaging winds will cause some trees and large branches to fall. This could injure those outdoors, as well as damage homes and vehicles. You think? Roadways may become blocked by down trees. Localized power outages are possible. Unsecured light objects may become projectiles. Locations impacted include Elkton, Quigliersville, Banco, Swift Run, Fletcher, Gravesville, Jollet, Ailer, and Syria. Get indoors to protect yourself from wind and lightning. Trees around you may be down from damaging winds, so if you are near large trees, move to an interior room on the lowest floor. Don't drive underneath trees or in wooded areas until the threat has passed. Yes, that was an yes. Thank God. This is the NOAA Weather Radio All Hazards Station WXM42, broadcasting from the National Weather Service Office in Sterling, Virginia, and transmitting on a frequency of 162.475 MHz from an antenna located in Hagerstown, Maryland. The Mount Holly warning, let's go. The following is a coastal flood warning from the National Weather Service for the following counties in New Jersey, Eastern Monmouth, Middlesex, Middlesex and Western, Western Monmouth. Monmouth. Locations, coastal areas of Middlesex and Monmouth counties in New Jersey. Timing. Flooding will occur for a few hours around the time of high tide on Friday morning. High tide on the New Jersey oceanfront is between 5.30 a.m. and 6.30 a.m. Friday. 
high tide on the back basin along Raritan Bay occurs later than the high tide on the oceanfront. Coastal flood impacts. One to two feet of salt water inundation above ground level is possible in low-lying areas near shorelines and tidal waterways. At this level, widespread flooding of roadways is expected with many roads becoming impassable. Some damage to vulnerable structures may begin to occur. In Middlesex County, minor road flooding is possible in Woodbridge Township, per Amboy, Old Bridge Township, in South Amboy. Rainfall may exacerbate tidal levels, leading to more significant impacts. Waves, wave heights on the ocean waters off the coast are forecast to be 6 to 9 feet. Wave heights on rare and are forecast to be from 2 to 5 feet. A coastal flood warning means that moderate or major tidal flooding is occurring or imminent. Be prepared for rising water levels and take appropriate action to protect life and property. Follow the recommendations of local emergency management officials. Do not drive your vehicle through flood waters. The water may be deeper than you think it is. You will be putting yourself in danger and your vehicle may be damaged, leading to costly repairs. Visit the Advanced Hydrologic Prediction Service website at weather.gov slash AHPS for additional water level and flood impact information for your local tank gauge. The National Weather Service forecast. It's not that hard, Zone Guard. Like, it's not that hard to go off for a flash flood warning and say, oh, flash flood warning is that. Oh! Oh, Suffolk now! Suffolk! I, thankfully, I walked back into the room with Suffolk! Contact your nearest law enforcement. 
All right, what radio is still on? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? Oh, sh oh, shoot. I hope I didn't wake my father up. How the fuck he didn't wake up? I am shocked. And where the hell did the remote go? Where the heck did the remote for my lights go? Oh, there it is. Tornado warning? Yes. Sheer night in this video? Probably fucking Lee, despite the fact that there was no fucking tornado watch to begin with. No, and as you can tell, as you can fucking tell, I am here with a Mr. Big Red, known as Clay Ranger 143. Hey, what is that? That it was fucking out of nowhere? Exactly, because not only did it scare the living shit out of me when that thing went off. Okay, I am gonna go silence my radios before I have another fucking blast out like that again. In Boston. of this broadcast and is actually the warning alarm will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can sometimes occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. To provide the most consistent and dependable warning service possible, the warning alarm will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for all counties in the state of Connecticut, Nebraska, and Suffolk counties on Long Island and Southeast New York. 
Once again, this was only a test. Around five miles an hour until midnight, becoming light and very. If they did it at twelve o'clock Thursday. video. Hopefully in 2019 I'll be able to get some more alerts, especially those that are very rare to catch. But for now, I hope you have a happy and safe new year. This is Thunder Buddy 01 signing off.